Hi, welcome to Wedding Base Camp. Hi, I'm Janet. I'm Michelle. I'm Zoe. Cheers. 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 We are so excited you joined us today for another um, lovely week of wedding bliss where we talk about all things wedding. Yep. So as you'll remember, we are the founders of Prep to Wed, and we are helping couples worldwide um, save time, save money, and to lower their stress level. So each episode, we always share true stories, obstacles, and nonsense. Plenty of nonsense. Yeah, it's all about nonsense. <laughs> and today's topics? We've got a few things to talk about today. Tables, tiaras, and tunes. So, we're going to jump right in as soon as we take a swig. <laughs> <laughs> Tables. A lot of different options nowadays rather than just your typical round table. We have all sorts of, you can mix rounds and rectangles. You can have um, the wood farm tables, yep. not necessarily needing linens. Um, right. You can do four foot squares Yeah. and square yeah. so that you have some room across, but it's a square. Yeah, you can use different size. Like you, if you use all rounds, you can do different sizes of rounds at least. Um, you can even make ovals. It's kind of cool for a head table. You can do long narrow tables. You can use the four foot squares Zoe was talking about to create a long, you know, like feasting table. Um, I did a wedding once that was three huge long feasting tables. Took up the whole room. Really, really cool look. Um, you just mix it up. It gives a little more interest to the room when it's not just all round tables. Typical wedding round. Yeah. But one of the things that we want to make sure you remember is that based on the venue you use, they may or may not afford you anything other than rounds. Right. So if you want that kind of very cool look, you're going to have to bring in budget for that rental tables. Yes. Mm -hmm. One thing also always maximize your seating at tables. So if the if it's a round table and the maximum seating is 10, we would suggest, you know, seat 10 people at the table. It saves on centerpieces and additional tables and linens, linens and all sorts of things. So try Chair to, rentals. Yes, yeah, so try to maximize that if you can. I do recommend, though, if you, like a 72-inch round, for example, six feet, it, the max would be 10. Some places will try to get you to do 12 or That's if you have a golf tournament. Yeah. You don't want to do that at a wedding. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you have no elbow room. If you want chargers on your table, base plates on your table, they won't fit because you can't fit that many on the table and your silverware and your glassware. So yeah. it's just not comfortable. Yeah, sure. And people are all dressed up. They're in suits and dresses and like you want them to be comfortable and not feel squished like you're at a golf tournament. Yeah. Right. So that's not fun. No. So, and then there's tiaras. Tiaras. What woman doesn't <laughs> love tiaras? Right. We love that. So there are a lot of different options for tiaras. We're not just talking about like princess. Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Princess queen <laughs> tiaras. Yeah. You don't want to go that far. Floral crowns are really cool. Beautiful. Are Beautiful. Very mm -hmm. romantic. And we bring this up because not everybody wants to wear a veil. Not, and you don't have to wear a veil. You can use a tiara, you know, up there back in your thing or the floral crown <laughs> with the thing. <laughs> up do's, down do's, whatever we braid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can go the flowers. Just down. another option for your hair. Yeah. For the bride. Tiaras are cool, though. They make you feel super girly. Well, yeah. yeah. Like you've, if you've always dreamed about being a princess, princess. here's your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So Beautiful tiaras. You know, work it if that's what right. you want. Right. Tunes. <laughs> Tunes. 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 Tunes are super important to keep the uh, vibe going in your reception. Mm -hmm. um, well, they're important throughout the day, but in uh, volume level, at certain times of the day, are you know need to be altered. What do you <laughs> so uh, critical point I think is at when people are dining. You got to keep that sound down just a little bit. You want it up enough that it keeps it lively, but you need to be able to have a conversation with the people at your table and not have to yell at each other. So, because that's rude. Yelling is rude. Elderly or not, like particularly for your elderly, they're going to complain. They may probably won't complain to you, but they'll be they'll, irritated by it. They'll have so, that face, that yes. old person unhappy they face. They just sit there and they can't talk to like anybody. <laughs> That was a good impression. 
<laughs> also, yeah. another important thing about tunes is as your guests are arriving, make sure you have that background music playing. No one walk, wants to walk into a silent yeah, event. Silence is um, it's awkward. No bueno. And everyone just kind of, you know, stands around, not quite sure what to do. Mm -hmm. So at least have some of that background music playing as your guests arrive for your ceremony or cocktail hour or whatever it is. So keep that in mind. Create some ambiance. Yes. You want to create some ambiance. Make it like you're you're welcoming them in and they're meant to be there, not just silence. Like, am I I early? Am I in the wrong room? Am I in the wrong place? I've got my tiara on and there's no music. Like... Yeah, what is that, exactly right? That. <laughs> yeah. And so um, one of the other things that we think is super important is to play music that really excites everyone, right? So you want some beach music, which is, you know, like your Beach Boys and some Beatles. You, know, you want some classics, some Frankie, Sinatra, you know, some stuff. Like put the rock and roll in there. Put the country in there. Put mm-hmm. the hip hop in there. Put the Eminem in there. Like, you know, that's all fine, but not the same genre all night long yeah. that's really kind of like this yeah hip-hop techno that yeah, thumping that, yeah. all night long you don't want to feel like you're at a nightclub yeah it's not right mix it up for because there's multiple generations there you're, you're potentially going to have some children you have um you know your 20s and 30s you've got 40s and 50s you've got potentially 60 70 80 like mix it up for them so that everybody can have fun dancing true story wedding she hired the DJ. He had his, you know, playlist. He knew what he was supposed to be doing. The mother and the grandfather and the father did not dance all night oh, until almost so like the very last song. It was a one country and western song where they got up and danced. Oh, and I felt so bad. so bad for them. It was so un- it, it, thoughtless. Yeah. yeah thoughtless. That's disappointing. It yeah. was. I felt bad because this should be fun for everybody. It should everybody that comes should be, you know, some able to dance not, to a few songs. A few songs. Not yeah. everybody's going to yeah. dance every single song, and yeah. that's okay. But you want to have like a full dance floor most of the time. It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be the same people all the time. But you want to have everybody have a fun. You want them to leave and be like, oh my god, that was the best wedding ever. It's and so you want them to leave like sweaty. Yeah. And they will. They will yeah. say that. They'll be like, oh my god, it was the best wedding I've ever been to. And a yeah. lot of it has to do with the music. No question. You do. The DJ. other thing, DJ. This is more about a DJ, but. Again, the awkward silence. No downtime from, it's like if you're going to have a band and a DJ, there should be no downtime in between those, the transition. They should have, you know, music playing the entire time, something's being set up. No downtime. No silence. There's, that's awkward. People looking around like, oh, what's happening? Because what, there's no music on. Right. What's, ha- is there, yeah. what's ne- why, what are we waiting for? Where am I supposed to be watching? You know, <laughs> uh, no downtime. Mm-hmm. So um, I think, you know, we've covered it. With our uh, tables, chairs, and and tunes. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, you know, we have some really additional great information available to you if you're interested. It's kind of fun because you know we like nonsense, um, and we like to have some fun. Um, it's called Love Learn Plan. It's a free web class. You should join us. So we offer it monthly um, at several different times, and um, it is a lot of fun. You get to learn a lot about the wedding planning process. So uh, we hope to see you at one of our Love Learn Plan. Guarantee classes. you it is not information that you will learn or hear anywhere else. Right. I mean, it's so very specific and so True very, stories, mm-hmm. obstacles. <laughs> no, it's like right. It's all yeah. those, like it's real stuff. Like people, after we've coordinated and planned a wedding for them, their guests will say to us all the time, every best wedding I've ever been to. My God, you guys were so great. Thank yeah. you so much. And then they'll tell their their bride and groom, this is the best wedding I ever been to. And it's because things like like this. And it's all smooth transition. And it's for all everyone. beautiful so, and it just moves. And that's because we know what we're doing and we mm-hmm. can share that with you too. Yeah. yeah. So you can do it on your own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So join us next time as we yeah. share more wedding bliss with you. Um, obstacles, true stories, and all that good stuff. So we'll see you. Cheers. Cheers to you. Bye. Bye.